beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Or, dot, 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 one. Let us pray. May our voices be strong, Lord. May our faith be secure. May our blessings be heard. In your name we pray. Amen. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Got my attention. Except if I had written that in high school or college, do you think the teacher would have accepted that as the first line of any essay? Probably not. I went to a decent school, so no. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Obviously. I'm reading the first page, the first line. Tell me something important. How do you begin? How do you begin a life? I mean, that's what a gospel is. It's a, you guys can't see me over there, can you? Hi. How do you begin a life? How do you begin the story that changes history? I mean, that's what your life is. Your life is the story that changes history. Not just yours, but your child's, your spouse's, your neighbor's, this church's, Fairmont's, the United States. And that's what we're talking about in this gospel, too. The story of one life that changed all lives. So in the beginning of this story, you want to start with something really important, right? I mean, you want to, you want to grab them and shake them. And, well, maybe not shake them. Too much coffee, sorry. Um, you want to get their attention. You want to lead them to the thing that if they forget everything else, this one point will stick. And they'll know. That's what this is about. And so what do we start with? Water. <laughs> Got you. John the Baptist. We don't start with Jesus. Huh? The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let's talk about his cousin for a minute. Because John's existence was to foretell of Christ's existence. How important is the life of Christ that another life is made purely to prepare us for this one? I mean, if John's an appetizer, then the main course that's coming is huge. And John gives us the beginning. The beginning of the ministry of Christ, the beginning of the gospel, and the beginning of our understanding of what we are supposed to do with the life that we have. Remember your life? Change history. Big thing. Yay! Right? I'm serious. I'm not making this up. It's not just sermon fodder. Your life changes things. So this part tells us what we do with this. So what does John do? What are some of the things John did? Baptized. And Jesus did what? He baptized Jesus. He baptized, he baptized Jesus. He baptized lots of folks. Yes, what else? He ate locusts. He ate locusts. He ate locusts. Oh dear Lord, I hope I don't have to do that. He did. He ate weird stuff, didn't he? He drew attention to himself. But he also did that to show that he was concerned not with his own comfort, but with his ministry, his message. What else did he do? Taught. That's right. That's right. He what? He called down sinners. He told all the people of Jerusalem. He, he, he died. He taught. Not this story, but pretty soon. That's next week. Spoiler alert. He taught. He taught. See, what do we know about John? 
the things that he did in service to Christ. We don't know if he liked locusts and wild honey. We don't know if he was left-handed. We don't know if he was a mama's boy or a daddy's boy. We don't know if he liked basketball. We know what he did to change the world. Brothers and sisters in Christ, you change the world. You change the world with your prayers, your participation, your breath, your life, your living. What you've done, what you do, and your existence changes the world because of this. The water that washed you in baptism claimed you as a member of Christ's family. And it also marked you like John. So what? So aside from the point that you matter and you change history, don't forget that. I'm dead serious. You also have a responsibility. You remember Spider-Man the movie? With great power comes great responsibility. No? Wow. All right. You have great power. And you have one responsibility. Live a life that points others to Christ. You are the beginning of their Christianity. You are the beginning of life. You are the beginning of everything. Every day you start that reality. Do you do it in such a way that draws people to Christ or not? Brothers and sisters in Christ, be the beginning. Be a good one. Don't be the end. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.